So today's DIY is going to be using mostly Dollar Tree items and it's something that I came up in my head and I hope it works. I don't know if it will. So let's just get into the supplies that you're going to need. So these are some of the supplies that you are going to need. You may need more depending on how you want to do your DIY. But we are going to start with one of these Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. And it is a small tree and I picked it up in white. They have a green one but I prefer white because we are going to use some black spray paint and this one is from i think it was walmart and you can buy spray paint for a dollar as well at walmart so that is in the color black then we're going to use one of these pumpkins from dollar tree it's just a styrofoam pumpkin and then we're going to need some paints brushes and a glue gun and possibly other supplies i will show you as we go along what we're going to do and what other supplies we're going to need for this DIY. And I'm also working on a wreath for my son. It is right here. And I was going to do a DIY on this, but this is just basically the same thing that I do with my other wreaths with the five inch cuts of deco mesh from Dollar Tree. Roll it up and I alternate colors. I do two black, one silver, and then two silver, one black. And I'm also using some of this creepy cloth that I cut into pieces and this is like nine inch pieces here and then as you guys can see it is throughout I'll just put this on top of the two silver and one black and it's just scattered throughout here and I just alternate the colors and then I put like I think two or three bundles of these in each section and then I'm just going to go ahead and attach this in the center like this and that should be done and I don't know if I might add some deco tubing, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I'm doing with this wreath for my son. All right, back to this one. And now let's go outside and spray paint our tree. All right, so I spread my branches out on my tree. Now you want to do this part outside. And if you have newspaper, I would lay newspaper out. I don't have any. So I'm going to just spray paint right here on the dirt. You're going to grab your spray paint, give it a good shake. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start to spray paint your tree. You can leave some white if you want on there or you can completely spray paint it all. Okay, you guys. So I screwed up my pumpkin so bad and uh, I ended up throwing it away. It like literally I was trying to peel off the glue but it just destroyed the pumpkin so I had to run to Dollar Tree and go grab a new pumpkin I ended up getting a new pumpkin and uh, well, let me show you really quickly so they have these look at how cute these flowers are and they have spiders on here as well now I finished my son's wreath he wanted it plain like this let me move this stuff out the way look at this Oh, I wish 99 cent store would bring out some more of these. I only bought one and I'm kicking myself because they brought these out like two years ago and they never brought them back out. So oh, I wish they would bring out some more, but with the polka dots like that, the lid. I love that. All right. So this is my son's wreath. So he wanted it plain like this and then I finished it and he's all like, well, where are the spiders? So I went, when I was there right now getting another pumpkin, I saw this and I figured this could add, I could add a little color to it and then red with this would look really good. This is more of a, like a burgundy. And then I like the eyeballs. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and add this to the wreath here. I think it'll look nice. I brought out my favorite fillers. So I picked up three packages of these. I just love those. All right. That's enough of that. This is not a haul. So anyways, I ended up going and buying another one of these pumpkins. Yeah, let's give this guy a try again. So, and you guys know, I always show you my fails, even though I didn't show you how bad that pumpkin was. And I think I already threw that bag outside in the trash. But I did the face, and then I was painting it, and I didn't like the way it was coming out. So, and the paint wasn't really sticking to the pumpkin. So I ended up trying to peel it off, and it took off this. This is just like a layer of plastic or something, thin plastic on here. And it all started to come off, so I thought, well, maybe I can save the styrofoam. 
So I was trying to take it off with, so I can at least use the styrofoam and it just destroyed it. So I had to go get another one. So, all right, this is attempt number two. So let me get situated here and then we'll move on and give this a try one more time. There's my son's wreath. He seems to like it. So that's, <sighs> he's so difficult. But this is how my son went in his wreath. Just wanted to share it with you guys really quickly. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to decoupage this pumpkin with some of this Dollar Tree tissue that I found. And originally, uh, what I wanted to do was actually do like a vintage looking face of, on a pumpkin here. And um, I was trying, I was starting to film it for you guys and I screwed it all up and so I scrapped that idea and so I went to Dollar Tree to buy another one of these pumpkins but I seen this here this tissue paper and I like this tissue paper so we're gonna go ahead and do this all over again and I'm just going to decoupage this pattern here that I see that I like so I don't want to paint my pumpkin white. You can do that and then let it dry. So I don't want to paint my pumpkin white. You can if you wanted to. But there's already white tissue paper here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this white tissue. Decoupage that onto the pumpkin and then let that dry. And then I'll come back and then I'll decoupage the one with the pattern on top of that. So that way you won't be able to see through to the orange. Is you have Mod Podge. And I'm just going to open up my Mod Podge. Just cut pieces of your tissue. So I'm just going to dip my brush in the Mod Podge. Then I'm just going to go ahead and start adding my Mod Podge. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a tissue. And I'm just going to go ahead and Mod Podge the tissue onto my pumpkin. So I'm just going to continue to layer the white tissue paper onto my orange pumpkin. And I'm going to go ahead and do it all the way around. And I'm going to do a few layers, just enough so I don't see the orange anymore underneath. And then um, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'll be right back to show you what the next step is. All right, so my pumpkin, oops, I already Mod Podged all the white tissue paper on there, but I got an idea, you guys. So I don't think that I'm going to end up Mod Podging that pattern on here. What I'm thinking is I'm going to let this dry, and I like the way it looks all um, wrinkly, all the way around and so what I'm gonna do is once this dries I'm gonna paint it that's what I'm thinking of doing I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter to it and then once I'm done with that um, I'm gonna end up we're taking off the stem here and so I see how it looks the texture I like the texture on here so I I'm just going to end up painting the pumpkin and see how this comes out. Um, this is just an experiment. Obviously, I was trying to do a vintage looking face on here. It is a lot harder than what I thought. Um, so, And I like to make my DIYs for you guys easy. And uh, ye that I was having trouble with the other ones. So um, I'm just going to end up doing, I think, just leaving it like this and painting it. And once this dries though, I'll come back and then I'll show you once I paint it and uh, do all the other stuff to it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And then once this is dry, we'll come back with the next step. All right, you guys. So my pumpkin is already dry, as you guys can see. And I don't worry about the bottom. Nobody's going to see the bottom. 
I still really want to do a vintage pumpkin face in the front, but I think I'm going to practice that first and then I'll have to come back and show you guys how I do that. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and paint my pumpkin all black and I'm just using regular black paint, acrylic paint. Just going to put some down on here and then um, I'm going to end up taking off the stem but for now I need to use this so I can hold my pumpkin as I paint it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint my pumpkin all black. I know what I wanted to do with this. It was a little, it was proving to be a little difficult so I just chose to do this instead and I don't know if you guys can see. Let me show you real quickly here. But I don't know if you guys can see the texture on there. That looks really nice. I like the texture. So I'm not going to finish the pumpkin today. I might fit, pick up tomorrow morning where I left off. But I'm going to finish painting it and then just let it set overnight so it can dry. And then in the morning, I'll show you guys the next step. All right, you guys. So this is dry now. And I was thinking of a few ideas. So... The reason why I did the decoupage uh, paper on here was because I really wanted to do a face on here, but obviously it was not working out for me. It was it proved to be a little harder than what I anticipated. But what you can do is, I'm going to give you some options here. You can leave it just the way it is, black like this, and then paint your face instead of trying to make it... Um, the way I was trying to do with the tissue paper on there. But anyway, you can paint your face on to the pumpkin itself. Or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to do orange stripes and then glitter it. Um, you can also, and I had thought about doing this, but I don't have any white paint. Do Jack Skellington on here. But again, I don't have any white paint. So, um, but it, I like the way the texture looks on here. So now all I'm going to do is just get orange paint and this is folk art. Uh, what color is it? Does it say on here? Uh, pure orange. It's 4134 pure orange in the folk art. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my stripes. Now this paint is really thick. You guys can see here it's not running like your normal paint so um, I'm gonna use this small brush here just so I can create my lines let's see where do I want to go maybe in between like that and then just keep going I don't know if it's gonna work we shall see that's my thought anyways you know thinking that it's uh, that this will work I hope so let's see so basically I'm just gonna go around doing this all the way around um, and then I'm going to make sure I keep going over it a couple times so I can get that orange on there. And then I'm going to come back once it dries and then I'll add some glitter. Alright, so here is my pumpkin. I already painted it. Let me tell you guys that if you don't want to go through all this trouble, you can just buy a pumpkin already made and then just go ahead and do what I'm going to be doing with this pumpkin. Um, I decided that I wanted to make my own style. And I actually, I like the way it looks. It doesn't look perfect. It looks just, I, I don't know. I just love the way this looks. So I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this Mod Podge. This is the gloss, the glossy finish. I picked this up at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge it off to seal the, the paint so it doesn't, because uh, you could tell right here it's, it's, it's matte. Now, if I wanted it to be matte, then I would have gotten 
a matte um, Mod Podge, but I want a little bit of gloss on there. So, and this would be the time if you wanted to add glitter, you would Mod Podge it and then you would sprinkle your glitter all around it. I think I'm not going to do the glitter. I like the way this looks. I just want it to be just a little glossy. So I'm going to go ahead and seal my paint with the Mod Podge. So once the Mod Podge dries, we'll move on to the final step of this DIY. I'm just doing a thin coat of Mod Podge on here. Just a really thin coat because I want that little gloss on there. And again, we're sealing our paint in here. And Mod Podge does dry clear. I like the look that uh, it has because it's not, it doesn't have like straight lines. It still looks kind of like some of through the orange, you can still see some of the black. I like that look. I think it just looks really nice. That's the style that I like. I know this not my, I know this may not be for everybody. Not everybody's going to like all my DIYs and that's okay. But basically that's all I'm going to do is just go around the whole pumpkin with this Mod Podge and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is. It's all dry now. See how glossy it looks? I just like the way it looks. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off this stem up here. If you need to use a... If you need to use the scissors to kind of cut up the top here, go ahead because you did paint it so it is kind of sticking and I don't want the paint to peel. So I'm just cutting around all that. There it is. All right, just like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to put this in here like this. So I'm just going to push this kind of down like this so I could see where I need to cut. Just trying to cut a hole open here on the top. All right, like that. And then, see, I pushed that pretty snug in there, right there, just like that. And then we can go ahead and glue that into place right up here. I'm waiting for my glue gun to get hot, but as soon as it gets hot, I'm going to add some glue right on top of here. And then whatever you want to use to cover up here, you can do, um, you can put whatever you want. You can put some of that, um, you can put some leaves, you can put some of that moss, the Spanish moss whatever you want to put up here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do up there yet. You can also take the base off of the tree and if you don't wanna take the stem out, you can just insert it on the stem. However you want to attach yours, um, I'm gonna put mine back on in here. But what I'm also going to do, because I don't know if, um, if I put, if I'm gonna put a bunch of ornaments on here or not but I have these stones here that I also picked up a bag of at the Dollar Tree a long time ago I'm gonna put some in here to kind of give it some um, weight so it doesn't fall on me when I have it with stuff on my tree so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that in here some of these right in here me yeah that's perfect right there and then I can just glue that in here. All right, I'm just gonna add some glue all the way around to my piece here, oops, sorry, to this piece here where I have this right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right in like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue 
to my base. So it doesn't go anywhere. It'll stay right on, on top of there. Now at this point, if you guys wanted to add some um, So right here, if you guys want to add some creepy, not creepy cloth, um, moss. If you guys wanted to add some of that Spanish moss, you can do right here a little piece of Spanish moss. So I'm going to keep on playing with this and see what I'm going to do right up here, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I think I came up with an idea. So they sell these guys at Dollar Tree as well, and... All it is is just uh, a, one of these strands of like evergreen and I painted it black and I'm thinking it's just like the Christmas tree exactly like the Christmas tree the only difference is this is green so but it's all right I just painted it black with the spray paint I went outside and I spray painted it and I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach this down here like this And that way you can't see the bottom you know um, do something like that and if you wanted to add more so let's just say you wanted this tree to be fuller then you can go ahead and spray paint some and then just go ahead and attach them onto your tree as well if you wanted to do something like that um, what I mean by that is what it means so let's just say that you wanted extra uh, branches you can go ahead and add extra branches onto your tree. So like this, see how you have this one? You can just kind of uh, put them on here and then you'll have extra, extra branches on there, you know? Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this and I think I'm just gonna do one small piece on there like this and I'm just gonna cut it with my wire cutter so right let's see right there just trying to cover some of that there and then just cover it and um, again if you want you can add moss Whatever you want to use to cover down here where you see your, where you can see your pumpkin and your tree. So here is my tree. As you guys can see. What do you guys think? I just have to decorate it now. And then it will be done. Okay, so I went to Dollar Tree because I didn't have any lights to put on my tree. So I'm going to show you. I did pick up these LED orange lights. And they don't come with batteries. I have to go get some batteries. But I picked those up. So I bought some of this Spanish moss. This is the thing that I was telling you guys that you can use on here if you wanted to use this on there. And then I grabbed some of these glittered branches in orange, black, and purple. I didn't really want to use too much glitter on here, but I was thinking maybe I can use it as a topper. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this tree and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's decorated. Okay, you guys, so let me show you what I ended up doing to my little tree here. So this is my finished tree. And so I decided not to add any ribbon. I'm going to show you guys. I did put around my tree some of this feathered boa that I picked up at Dollar Tree. And all I did was loosely wrap it around inside my tree and then I loosely added these lights 
the um, lights that I showed you guys, the battery operated lights, I just put them right in here. And then I just decided to put all my ornaments, my Halloween ornaments that I made last year. And I do have a tutorial on these. And then I added some of these little Halloween ornaments that I had purchased a long time ago at Michael's. And then this is that one witch hat that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. It's just one of those headband uh, witch hats and I just stuffed it in there. And so this is what I came up with. I was going to do vintage. I only have three of these that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last year at 50% off. But uh, I didn't like the way they were looking on this little tree. These are too, too big for this little tree. Plus I only had three. So I decided to go this route where I have my ornaments that I made on my tree. As you guys can see, there is the batteries for the the tree. This will go for or for the lights. These are the batteries for the lights. This will go in the back somehow like this when I have it snuggled back in a little... This will be facing towards the back so you won't see the battery lights. But this is what I came up with. And then if you guys can see, I did add some of this these glittered branches throughout here and there and this is my tree what do you guys think if, so you don't have to do this you can already buy one that's already made for you and all you do is just stick the tree right on top but if you want to custom make yours then this would be perfect and if you want to keep it very reasonable a lot of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree so pretty much everything is from the Dollar Tree. So, and the only thing that was not from Dollar Tree was the paint, but that's all right, it's still under a dollar. So, I hope you guys like this DIY, and I hope you guys get inspired and give it a try. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.